And if you wanted to pull that bet back down now to $30, you could put that all the way into your rack. I actually really like that. Now that I'm playing that out, I love that way of playing it. Hey guys, welcome to Mark the Point. Um, I'm going to do a fun video that I did a long time ago. Um, it was actually re-inspired by Crappy the Crapsman. He does this video called uh, Collect the Green, and it's something I've also played in the casinos, and it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, let me show you how this works out. So I do it a little bit, a little bit different than Crappy does. Um, I start off with 110 on the inside. I believe Crappy only starts out with a 6 and 8. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to wait for a putt to get established and we'll place our bets, okay? So what's going to happen is 110 is our inside. And if it, it, any hit, let's just say it's on the 6, 8, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever hits, in these cases, can pay us $35. Let's just say it's on the 6. It's going to pay us 35 Okay, the essential here is you're going to press the sister and walk it all the way down. So at the 8, you pay the 9, to pay the 10. If it's a 6, you go to the 5, you go to the 4. Now essentially what we're going to do is we're going to collect the green chip and we're going to press up the five just like that. So this goes back to your rack. Okay, let's do it again. Let's just say it's on the eight. does the same thing. It pays the nine. You collect the green and stack the nine. Now, if the five hits or the nine hits at this point in time, what's going to happen is it'll pay you 50 for one. Okay, what we're going to do is put 25 on the four. And this here, collect the green chip just like that. Well, let's just say if you have some repeats where your six and eight hit again, you're still going to collect this up and press it, right? That still is going to pay you $35. Collect the green chip, press this up to a, what's that, a $40 bet, $45 bet. You're going to continue to go up as high as you can, always pressing the sister. Now, the six and eight are always going to press out to the five and nine or nine and ten or whatever it is. Um, it's up to you. If you. Once you get to a quarter level on the four and ten, then I like to start pressing up the six and eight again. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. To get a little more juice as, out of it, it's totally up to you. But that's the way I like to play it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Watch this roll us out, and let's see if we can make some money. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to start off with a $1,000 bankroll. So the idea here is you, you have one 10 inside. You got 10 shooters work. We're shooting for 10 shooters. Uh, let's go ahead and get a point established. Let's get some dice here. Uh, let's grab these two here and uh, move these over to the side. And uh, let's get a point established. Here we go. All right, it's going to be on the four. That's the three, one, four. That's the easy four. Smart a point on the four. And uh, drop down to the dealer, say 110 inside. And this is to be to collect the green. Um, we are going to go make sure we are going to collect all the chip. You also have a right to black. That's another option we can show you at a later point in time. But uh, let's go and collect the green this time and see how we do. All right, that's going to be on the nine. That's a five, four, nine. All right, that's where we go. That's going to pay us $35. Okay, now this does require a $10 table. I should have said that. This will require a $10 table to be able to play this because if you get the first hit on the 10, then you have to put down money. Or I guess if it's a $15 table, you just have to drop down an extra five or whatever it is. But in this case, we're going to collect the green, put the green back in our rack, put $10 on the 10. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's your seven. So there's your vulnerability, right? We got one hit. But then we left a lot sitting or standing out here. This, you know, it is crap. You are going to have to gamble a little bit uh, to be able to make some money back. But uh, that's how it goes, guys. We're going to go and lose that one. Turn the puck off. And let's get another point established. Get some more dice. Here we go. Uh, let's grab these two here. Come on, shooter. Here we go. And it's going to be a hard six this time. That's going to be the, the hard six dice, DJ. And uh, so let's mark the six on the point. And let's drop down another 110. Okay, 110. On the inside, say, dealer, put me up 110 inside. So they'll do that for you. Here we go. And it's all set up. Let's go, shooter. All right. And that's going to be a 4 3 one, 4 Not there yet. Easy 4. There's a 9. That's going to be the 6 3 9. Okay. Pay me again $35. We're going to collect the green chip. Put $10 on the 4. On the 10. Excuse me. What do we have here? There's an 8. That's going to be the easy 8 6 2. Okay. It's going to pay us $35. Okay. Collect the green chip. Put $10 on the 9. Just like that. Remember, we're going to press the sister. The sister in this case is the, or to press the neighbor, I guess it is. The neighbor here is the nine, not the sister. And there is a four, three, seven. Ouch. Gosh, you got to hate that, right? Okay, that's only two two hits that we've gotten out of it. Uh, not really making a whole lot of money as of right now. We're just kind of going down. But that's okay. You will get those runs, but then you get to get runs where you have these guys pressed all the way up and pressing up like you can. And uh, where it really works in your favor. But you got to be able to have that sustainable bankroll. Now, we're not paying the pass line, and this would have been a pass line winner. That's a 437. No help to me. 
There's a 10. Our new point is going to be on the 10. Let's mark the point on the 10. And again, say, dealer, drop me down 110 inside, please. So 110, right? So here, here, here. All right. And what you got here, you got $25 levels on everything. Of course, it's $30 on that 6 and 8. All right, let's go, shooter. Let's get some inside hits. There's the square pair. That's a hard eight. We'll take that. Hard eights could pay us $35. Okay, we're going to the nine. Okay, collect that green chip. Put that on the nine. Here we go. Makes it look like 35. There's a four. That's going to be Big Joe from Crafts Master Journey. No help to me. There's an eight, six, two, eight. Okay, go here. Let's go do that again. Pays us $35. Collect that green chip and put that 10 on the nine. Now we're up to a $45 bet. Let's see if they can hit that nine. Come on. Nope, not yet. That's going to be a 516. That's an easy six. And it's going to pay us 35 bucks. Okay. Put 10 on the five like that. So we basically, what is that? That's our fourth hit, right? So we've out hand for the most part. We've had $100 back. So now we're just ready to hit numbers, right? There's an eight. That's going to be a six to eight. We're building up our nine, right? Because we're always pressing it. We're always moving it just to the, the neighbor beside. We'd love to hit that again. How about that? That's a, what's that? A 50, $55 bet? Let's do it. Let's hit it. There's another eight. Wow, you gotta love it. We everybody's root for the nine right now, right? It's another 35 bucks. Let's put this here. Let's just stack it up there, right? We'll count it in a minute. Come on, shooter. There's a hard six this time. It's another dice degen. Hard six. Let's go ahead and pay it 35 bucks. And uh this case going ten dollars on the five. Another quarter going back to the rat. We have not hit the five yet, have not hit the nine. That is a yo eleven mid mochiro. No help to me. Come on, shooter. Another eight. Oh my gosh. We want to hit that one, right? Another 35 bucks. Collect the quarter. Let's keep stacking it up there just like that, okay? Come on, shooter. Let's hit the nine. Are we going to do it? There's a one, two, three. At what point in time do you want to pull your bet down? Ah, you know what? We have, we've already made our money back from the shooter. Let's, uh, let's ooh, there it is. There's that five, four, nine. Now we got to figure out what it is, right? We've hit it. One, two, three, four, five. That's 50. That is $75, and we all know, I'm just going to make it green chips just so we can see it. That is $75, okay? So $75, bucks. that pays me $105, bucks, just like that. Pays me $105. Let's put that back into the rack, and I've still got a hit here. I do want to put um, money on that, four, on that 10, though. Gosh, I hate putting a $100 chip on there, but you know what? Oh, what do I do here? What do I do when it's that high? You know what? I'm going to leverage my investment just a little bit. It's a long roll. I'm just going to take the quarter from the nine and put it here and leave that there. I'm going to leave it at 50 and go to the 25. Now, it would cost me a dollar big, so technically it would be a buy bet. But I wanted a black chip. I want to keep that black chip in my rack. I don't want to dispose of that one, right? That's a that's a valuable one. And there's a Yo 11 mid mochiro. And I'm glad I did because that is a 617 just in time. We got that nine hit, which is boom. How about that? Now we're going to pull all these bets back. We got the one that we wanted, which is great. Let's turn the puck off, and uh, let's get another point established. to get some dice out here. Uh, let's grab these here. Come on, shooter. Let's do it again. All right, what we got here? That's going to be a yo 11. That's going to be a winner on the pass line. We are not playing the pass line, uh, but that is a winner. And there's aces. Hot. Let's pull that away. Pay the don'ts. And there is a 314. That's Big Joe from Crafts Master Journey. Again, 314. Let's go ahead and drop down another 110 to the dealer. I think we got a, a little bit more of our money back. That really helps us out, right? So 110 on the inside, just like that. And uh, let's roll this thing out. Let's go. There's a square pair again. That's going to be the hard eight. All right, here we go. That's going to pay us 35 bucks. Okay, well, it seems like we're getting used to that, right? That paying the eight goes into nine. There's a six. That's going to be 35 bucks. Collect the quarter, right? Collect that green. That's what we're doing, collecting the green. Put $10 on the five. That's our press-up bet. Come on, shooter. And there's a four. That is our point. Let's mark it off. That is our point. Let's get another point established. All right, it's going to be on the six. The four, two, six. Let's mark the six. That's the new point. And come on, shooter. Here we go. Oh, how about that? Right back, buckshot right on the six again. That's the five one. That's going to pay us $35. Again, we're going to go $10 on the five. Click that there. And that there is going to, the point is going to be turned off. Let's go ahead and say it correctly. And uh, here we go. The new point is going to be on the eight. Let's mark the eight. That's our new point. Let's put it right there. And come on, shooter. And there's a five, two, seven, five, two, seven. That's okay. I think we got a couple hits out of it. All this is going to come back just like that. Remember, we started with $1,000. Okay. So it uh, seems like we're doing doing all right right now. We'll see. Let's turn the puck off. 
And let's get another point established. All right, it's going to be back on the six. That's the five one this time. Here we go. It's going to drop down 110 to the dealer. Take 110 inside. Enough for 10 shooters work. Bought $1,000 with us. And here we go. Come on, shooter. The dice are scattering, and they're going to go. Uh, how about that? That's a center field nine. Uh, here we go. That's going to go $35. Um, good 25 in our rack. $10 on the 10, just like that. How about that? Right there on the 10, just like we paid for it. Okay, well, here's what's going to happen. We are not collecting a green chip yet, so you got to press that up a little bit. Hopefully, we can get it pressed up. But that is going to pay us $18. Let's go ahead and pay it $18. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have to press this up. Let's press it to a 25. That's 25. Let's go ahead and put the $3 back into our right. That would actually cost us a VIG, a $1 in VIG. And let's go ahead and make it a green chip. How about that? Just like that. And come on, shooter. Here we go. How about that? Three tens. Is that three tens in a row or two? I can't remember now. That's going to pay us 50 for one. 50 for one. I'm going to collect both of those this time. Collect both of those just like that. Because why? Because we've gotten a couple of hits where we have not collected or, or, or a lot. Or we're only collecting one or two. So I'm going to put both of those green chips into the rack. And I'll start pressing on the next one. Here we go. Come on, shooter. There's a nine, five, four, nine. Okay. That's going to pay us 35 bucks. Okay. Collect the green chip. Put that $10 on the 10. Just like that, looks like 35 bucks. And there's a seven. That's a VF 527. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Pull all this back. And let's keep it rolling. The puck is off. Come on, shooter. And there's eight. How about that's one, two, three? Craps three. No help to me. And that's an eight. Six, two, eight. Okay, mark the eight. And drop down another 110. Um, you have options, by the way. If you wanted to go a little heavier, if you once you get into profit, if you want to go a little heavier on the six and eight, you always have that option to go sixty dollars. Now you're a little bit more vulnerable because you got more money out there if you don't hit it. But that is an option. If we could do a little mid a mid video strategy here, so if you wanted to go sixty dollars on the inside, which you could do here, let's go ahead and do it this round. Let's do it for this one here. Let me show you what that would look like. We're gonna go sixty on the inside on the six and eight, and then twenty five each on the five and nine. Let's see if we can get a hit, and I'll show you what we can do with it. Here we go. Come on, shooter. Let's try to hit the six or eight. There's a Yo 11, mid Mochiro. No help to me. And oh, how about that? Back to back Yo's. How about that? See a horn, better horn. Uh, there's three of them, three horn numbers in a row. That's a one, two, three, craps three. And there it is. There's a square pair. That's a hard eight. We've had a lot of hard numbers tonight. So remember, because we pressed it up, well, we didn't press it up because we went up there a little higher for 60. That's actually going to pay us 70 now. So now, rather than it just being collecting one quarter and putting $10 here, now you have the option of putting all this money, $60 into your rack. And if you wanted to pull that bet back down now to $30, you could put that all the way into your rack. I actually really like that. Now that I'm playing that out, I love that way of playing it. Actually, wow, I've really enjoyed that. Let's, let's keep that. Let's keep doing that, okay? I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep that at 70 and then once I get the hit, I'm going to regress it down. That way I'm getting juice out of the eight on that very first hit. I'm going to do that same thing with the six. And uh, let's keep rolling. That is our point. Let's go and turn it off. I love that, by the way. All right, that's going to be the hard four, guys. That's going to be the two-two. Let's go ahead and mark it down there on the four. That's a new point. And uh, let's do it again. Here we go. All right, there's an eight. That's going to be the six-two. Now, we did get a little juice out a while ago, so we're not going to get as much of it now. But we are going to press this up $10, put that quarter back into your rack, just like that. And there's your four, three, seven, seven out, seven out, four, three, seven. Okay, so it's, all this is going to come back to our rack. Do this right here. Let's do that again. I actually, oh, 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 oh. like I said, I really like doing that. Let's turn the puck off. Let's get some new dice, new dice. So it's kind of like a, a two and one here, right? Go ahead and get another point established. Okay, it's going to be on the nine. Let's mark the nine, center field nine. And let's do that again. Let's go 60 each on the six and eight. Okay, 60 each. So there. There and get a, grab another quarter for the five, and it's going to require two reds on each. So sixty on the six and eight, and then twenty-five each on the five and nine. Let's see if I can get one of them to hit, and let's go. Here we go. How about another square pair hard eight? I love it, guys. Absolutely love it. It's going to pay us seventy bucks. Um, you know what? What do we do? We can make that go up by ten. If you want to keep this up because it is paying you more juice, let's do that. We can keep it up. And uh, and that kind of pays for that. And then if we get another hit on the six or eight, it pays for both of them, right? And here we go. Come on, shooter. There's a nine, five, four. That's great. That's a five, four, nine. 
That's going to pay us as a $35 bet. It's going to pay us $49, or in this case, we'll do it $50 uh, for one. What we're going to do is we're going to put a quarter on the 10, okay? Now, that would cost us another VIG, by the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's pay that VIG out. So it charges $1 in VIG, and I'm going to give you $4 back to your rack. And uh, the puck is going to be off. All right, the puck will be off. And uh, here we go. There's a six. That's going to be the easy six, four, two. Okay, let's mark the six. That's a new point. And uh, let's keep it going. Let's go, shooter. How about that? Another buck shot on the point. That is going to pay us $70, 70 bones. Let's put $10 on the five. And we're going to collect the rest of this. Or you know what? Since this is a collect the green, collect the green, let's put $50 into a rack. Let's go ahead and press that five all the way up just like that. How about that? Let's go ahead and press that. Those are points. Turn off the point. And aces, that's the dots in both places. Snake eyes, no help to me. The puck is off. And you turn the dice upside down. That is, that is box cars. Went from aces to box cars. You got to love that. Both of those are losers on the pass line. That's going to be a 5 1 6. Okay, with smart and six, that's a new point. Mark the six. And here we go, shooter. Another buck shot on the six. That's another 70 bucks. Another 70. Let's do that. Let's collect the two greens. Collect the two green chips this time. And let's put that on the five. I got a nice bet on the five. Let's turn the puck off. And uh, let's get the point established. And then let's hit the five. Okay, how about that? It's going to be on the eight. That's the easy eight. And I'll tell you what. This will uh, probably be the last shooter. Give me the last shooter right here. There's another buck shot on the eight. You got to love it. You got to love it. Another point on the hit. Here we go. It pays us 70. Put 50 into the rack. Put all this on the nine. Let's turn the puck off. I love the variation here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's get another point here. Uh, it is a six. That's going to be another six, four, two. Hammering the six and eight right now. How about that? Uh, and that's a hard six this time. Another great one. Another point. Wow. If we hadn't been hitting the point on and off and on and off, we'd be making a killing right now. Uh, that's going to pay us $70. Put the two greens into the rack. And let's stack up the five. Look at this, guys. I'm not even going to show you how much, tell you how much it is until we hit it. How about that? The puck is off. We've wasted so many rolls with that puck off. Just another six. Another six. The puck is off. So, by the way, there's so many wasted points on the six and eight. I love having a four and ten as a point. That way, when you are hitting these inside bets, you're not wasting a bet by hitting the puck when it's off. It's so aggravating not getting paid on that come out. And there's your 527. Oh, that's why I hate it so much. I want to see how much is on this five real quick. Let's see. That's 25. That's 50. That's 75. That would have been 85 bucks. You got to love 85 bucks. What would that have paid you? It paid you uh, 119. How do I know that? I don't know how I know that. But it pays me 119 if it hits. I would take that all day long. And uh, here we go. So we're going to pull all this back. That was the seven out. But uh, that's okay. We got some good money out of that, especially with our pressed up bets here. And uh, let's, you, let's go ahead and count it up. Let's see how much we ended up making on the uh, on the rollout. And let's turn the puck off. Let's move all this out the way. Remember, we started with $1,000. Let's see what we end up with. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 600. That's seven, oh, eight, nine, a thousand. Okay, so this is our that's one, two, three, four, five, six, two. Three, four, five, six. That's six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. So this is a thousand dollars. That is our initial bankroll. That everything else is profit. Let's see what we end up doing right here. We got 50, 75, 85, 80, 89 bucks. You know what? I'll take 89 bucks. That's about 9% uh, or, or, or about eight, eight and a half percent, really, to be exact, of a thousand dollars. You know what? Not a bad day. Uh, that's about it's just like the stock market right there, right? So uh, let's go ahead and take that. That's a wrap. 85 bucks. We'll take a win. A win is a win. Anytime you beat the casino, anytime you leave the casino with more money than you came, that's a win in my book, boys. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel. It really helps us out a lot. Hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, and putting a comment down below. Make sure you go check out Crappy. Remember, I saw him. He was actually one of my very first subscribers, by the way. Crappy was one of my very first subscribers, and I appreciate the support he's always given me. Until next time, guys, mark the point and stay awesome.